Okay, children, so tell us what you have planned for us today. We've picked eight exciting music videos, including one about rare white tiger cubs. Which inspired us to research cats. We came up with some wonderful material, and we'll be presenting the top 10 fascinating facts about cats list. You know, I really do enjoy those top 10 segments. I learn something every time. And those illustrations that go with them always make me chuckle, you know that. So what's going on with our guest for today? As we hoped, we were able to book Nick Todd. Remember I told you about him? Oh, that's right. He's that uh, gentleman with the baby jaguars. That's him. We're all excited about seeing them. So are we. Lindsay and I found the cutest little kitchen outside the stage door. It was meowing so loud, we thought it must be hungry. So we gave it a bowl of milk and it drank it all. Maybe it's lost, poor little thing. Why don't you see if there's a little basket we could put a blanket in and let it have a good rest? Good idea. It's showtime. I'm ready. Me too. You're on the air in three, two. Roll opening title sequence and take it. Cue the host. Good morning and welcome to the Kids Songs TV show. The one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids. And Biggles. Hi, everybody. We're really happy to be here. And we're really happy that you are watching because we have a really neat show for you today. I agree. We've got some music videos that I'm sure you're going to enjoy, and a great guest, and a whole lot more. So let's get started with our first music video of the day. It stars some very, very cute tiger cubs. Which is why it's called A You're Adorable. A You're Adorable. to go walk around the station and see if anyone has seen her mom. Good idea. I'll go look around the neighborhood to see if anyone's put up a lost kitten sign. That's great, guys. Meanwhile, let's take very good care of her. You've made her a nice bed and given her food, so we're off to a good start. She probably needs some rest, so let's not play with her too much just now. OK, Ruby. Wooly Bully is up next. There are so many cute baby animals in this video, I just love it. Speaking of cute baby animals, the kitten Jessica found is just too cute. I hope we can keep it. Oh, Billy, no one was thinking of keeping it. We just assumed it was lost and we'll have to find its home. You'll end up keeping it, you'll see. I'm usually <laughs> right about these kinds of things. <laughs> <laughs> We're on in three, two, this next video features a whole bunch of furry animals, ranging from an angora goat to a feathered fox. The foxes are the ones that have big ears like Biggles, right? That's right, Ruby. But Biggles are cuter, right? Well, maybe. I beg your pardon? OK, two special Biggles who happen to be friends of mine are cuter. That's better. You kids at home, Pickle Channel was your favorite in Bully Bully.
Hi guys, any luck yet? No, Dave and I looked everywhere and we can't find the kitten's home or who she belongs to. Maybe we should adopt her. We can all look after her together. She'll be the show pet. I think adopting the kitten is a lovely idea. But may I suggest that you make sure of who wants to be involved with raising her? All pets are a big responsibility and we should make sure that we're ready for it. You're right, Ruby. Thanks for the suggestion. I think the first people we should ask are Mr. Forbes and Mrs. Wilson. I agree. We're ready to roll the next clip. Good. Just wait to the host intro at first. Very funny. And cue them. A lot of work goes into putting on a show, building sets, making costumes, rehearsing, and so much more. Our next video takes you backstage for a peek on what really happens behind the scenes when the Kid Songs kids say, let's, let's put on a show. Mrs. Wilson, can we keep the kitten? Oh, thank you, Mrs. Wilson. We'll take great care of it, we promise. Thanks again. Did you hear that, little kitty? You have a new home right here with us in the studio, and we're gonna take great care of you. Casey, tell everyone Ms. Wilson said we can keep the kitten. Great news, everyone. Mrs. Wilson said we can keep the kitty. Yeah! What's going on in there? They're all cheering about something. Yeah, Mrs. Wilson said we could keep the kitten that Jessica found. Jessica found a kitten and we're going to keep it here on the stage? Yeah, isn't it great? I guess so. Oops. Alex, Aaron, you're on. Our next video is about a cat who wanders around the neighborhood checking up on everything that's going on. He goes everywhere, including in the mailbox. I guess that's why he's called The Wanderer. Oh, well, I'm the kind of guy who will never settle down Where well, pretty girls are, well, you know that I'm around I kiss them when I love them, cause to me they're all the same I hug them in the squeeze them, they don't even know my name They call me the wanderer, yeah, the wanderer And I'm going nowhere Well, well I'm the type of guy Who likes to roll around I'm never in one place I roam from town to town When I find myself Oh, well, I'm falling for some girl I hop right over the fence And my tail begins to twirl Yeah, I'm the wonder Oh, the wonder I roam around, 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 around Oh, they call me the wonder Yeah, the wonder sounds silly, but I'm scared of cats. When I was little, my next door neighbors had lots of cats, and they were mean and were always hissing at me. That's not silly, Shira. Many other children are scared of animals, and most children are scared of something. That's true. I was scared of the dark when I was younger. But I don't want everyone to know that I'm scared of cats. 
They're all so excited about this kitchen they found. I don't want to be the one who ruins everything. Shira, the cats that scared you, were they big? Very. Have you seen the kitten? She's just a little tiny thing. Sometimes we're scared of things we don't know about. Maybe if you get to know her when she's little and see her grow up, you won't be so scared. Okay, I'll meet her and I'll try to like her. But what if I'm still scared? Then we'll come up with another plan. One that makes you happy and doesn't disappoint the other kids. You guys, you guys are, are the, the best. Lindsay's gonna do her top 10 list today, right? That's right. She's got her microphone on and is in position. The second camera will get us shots of the art cards. Cool, cue Aaron to introduce her. Every week, our researchers search the library, encyclopedias, and scan their computers to find out 10 fascinating things that you didn't already know. And today, we're going to do it again. The subject is cats. Big ones, small ones, wild ones, and tame ones. And to tell us about them, here is Lindsay Bartleson. Thank you, Alex and Aaron. The number 10 most fascinating fact about cats is, the thing that house cats do the most is sleep. Some cats sleep 20 hours a day. Number nine, cats have been living with people for at least 4,500 years. Number eight, the largest domestic cat, Himmy, weighed 46 pounds and had a neck as large as a man's. Number seven, when cats who know each other meet, they touch noses and then whiskers and then they pass each other, kind of like a kitty high five. Number six, the most traveled cat in the world is a Siamese, who spent 16 years traveling the world on a cargo ship. Number five, unlike most house cats, wild cats like tigers and jaguars love to swim. Number four, the largest cats are the Siberian tigers, who weigh as much as 14 first graders put together. Number three, leopards spend a lot of time lounging in trees. They even carry their food up to eat it. Number two, Every tiger's stripe and marking are different, like a fingerprint. And the number one most fascinating fact about cats is, the cheetah is the fastest land animal in the world. It can run 65 miles per hour, wow. I can take her home on the weekends. Maybe we should take turns. I think everyone's going to want to take her home. Yes, you're right. We need to get her a collar and a tag right away. I can ask my mom to take us to the pet store this afternoon. Great! Since everyone's talking about cats today, why don't we add our alley cat video to the show? Great idea. I'll put an intro on the prompter. Good. Cue the host in three, two, and... This next video stars a sleek and elegant black cat. His graceful moves inspired the really fun dance named after him, the alley cat. Right foot right and left foot left. Right back right back left back left. And right knee right knee left knee left. Right kick left kick clap and turn. We go on the prowl each night like an
ready for question time. Nick Toth and his baby Jaguars are in position. And I've got the graphic ready to roll. Let's roll the graphic. And cue the host. Now it's time for question time. Today we have a guest with a very interesting career. He races and trains big cats. And he's brought some little big cats with him. So let's join Lindsay and Nick right now. Thank you, Alex and Aaron, and welcome, Nick. Thank you. So, who is this? This is Cassidy. So, how old is Cassidy? Cassidy here is four and a half months old. She's a female spotted jaguar. Are leopards spotted too? Leopards are spotted as well, but there's a major difference between the two. First is the jaws. Jaguars have very strong, very powerful jaws, whereas the uh, ja <laughs> leopards have a very small head, and they're not as strong as the jaguar. Jaguar overall is a very strong cat. Also, the size of the spots. These guys have very big, very large spots, and the leopards have very small, more solid spots, not like what we call the rosettas. Wow, so where do jaguars come from? Jaguars uh, originally uh, came from Pentagonia, Chile, all the way north to Flagstaff, Arizona. But unfortunately, today in the United States, they're extinct. You only can find them in parts of Mexico and South America. Why are jaguars endangered? Unfortunately, because of their beautiful coats, they were overhunted. Also, the loss of habitat. There's too many people and you can't have both. So uh, these guys, unfortunately, were the ones that ended up losing. How sad. Can I pet her? I mean, will she yeah. hurt me? No, she'll come over there. She'll play. Oh, wow. hello. This is Cassidy. Hi, she's Cassidy. Real nice. <laughs> like she's got some toys here you can play really? with her. Oh, she loves her bowling pan. <laughs> Don't you? They're just like, you know, little house cats, you know, they, everything's interests to them, they love things that hang. So what can kids do to help? Well, of course, the first thing you have to do is re respect the environment, because um, if you thrash it, if you ruin it, then nobody can live on it, including animals. Uh, the other thing, of course, is that we have to become educated in how we can better conserve, uh, especially the jaguars, and how they live in captivity. So, um, I see that you brought another... Sure. Let's go and bring Bear out. Here, Bear. <laughs> this is Bear. Hi, Bear. This is Cassidy's brother. And Aww. as you see, he's a different color. And that actually is not uncommon. Uh, jaguars come, <laughs> just like the leopards, in two different color phases, the black and the spotted. Here, why don't you turn around, Bear? How old is Bear? Bear is the same age as his sister. They're four and a half uh, months old. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Bear right now is a couch. <laughs> <laughs> so what do they eat? Uh, oh. Meat. And we also have a special diet that these guys are on. It's called feline diet. It <laughs> gives them all the nutrients and everything they need. What are you doing, Bear? So how do you train animals? Well, number one, you have to get them when they're babies, just like this guy. And you have to build what we call the rapport, the relationship between the animal and the person. They have to learn to trust you and love you, and once you have established that, then you can start asking them and rewarding them for doing things that you want. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. My Nick. pleasure, Lindsay. Those jaguars are beautiful. It's so important that their environment is protected. Sure is. You know, we better take the kitty to the veterinarian for a checkup. What's a veterinarian? It's a doctor for animals. Is the kitty sick? No, just like children, animals need regular checkups. My dad's a veterinarian. He'll be happy to check it for us. I'll call him after the show. Thanks, Maya. Speaking of the show, aren't we supposed to be introducing Billy and Ruby Sing Along right now? And aren't you supposed to be in your studio? I'm out of here. <laughs> We're introducing the Sing Along keys in three, two. If you've been waiting for Billy and Ruby Sing and Play Along segment, you're in luck. The time has come. Billy and Ruby have picked a song that is really easy to dance to. It's called The Locomotion. So let's head over to Billy and Ruby's studio and do The Locomotion. Who wants to do The Locomotion? Let me hear you. Come on, let's really hear you. Come on, Billy. Let's make a chain now. Now we got a chugga chugga motion like a railroad chain now. Come on. Locomotion with me. Everybody's doing a brand new dance now. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. I know you'll get to like it if you give it a chance now. Come on, baby, do the locomotion. My little baby sister can do it with ease. It's easier than learning your ABCs. So come on, come on, do the locomotion with me. Swing your hips now. Come on, baby. 
One more song and then we can all go check on our newest cast member. Everyone's ready in the studio. Good, cue them. We've got one more song for you and it takes place in the bumper car ring. Some of the Kids Song's kids flash back to the 50s to have a bumper car showdown. It's all happening to the tune of the Beach Boys classic, Little, little Deuce, Deuce Coop. That's all we have time for on this episode of the Kids Songs TV Show, the one and only show made by kids, for kids, and starring kids, and Biggles. That's us. See ya. See ya. Bye. Shira, we've all talked it over, and if you're not comfortable around the kitten, we'll keep her in another part of the studio. And if you need time to get used to her, we'll help you. Thanks. She is very cute and very little. Would you like to pet her? I think I'll just watch her for a while. Are you feeling a little scared? Maybe just a little bit, but I think I'm getting used to her. I think I'm going to be okay. I think this is all going to turn out just 